either feeling overwhelmed by juggling endless productivity methods like Promodoro, the Eisenhower Matrix, or the Pareto Principle. I get it. I've been there too. I know how frustrating it can be to end up more stressed and less productive. In this video, I will show you the one approach that has transformed my task management, the getting things done method. I will show you how to use my free Notion template that I rely on daily to capture your tasks, clear your mind, and build a strong productivity foundation. Ready to take control over your tasks and see real results? Let's dive in. Getting Things Done, or GTD, is a system developed by David Allen that aims to help you achieve stress-free productivity, a state where your mind is as calm and clear as water. The heart of GTD is a simple yet powerful five-step workflow. Capture, clarify, organize, reflect, and engage. Since adopting this system, I've experienced a few key advantages over other productivity methods. First, its comprehensiveness. GTD allows me to capture everything from quick tasks to massive projects, freeing my mind to focus on the present moment. Second, the emphasis on front-end thinking. By defining my intentions and goals up front, I gain clarity about why I'm doing something and what exactly needs to be done. This makes decisions on what, when, and how to do things much easier. Third, the focus on actionability. GTD breaks down every commitment and project into single, feasible action items, making them manageable and achievable. Finally, the adaptability and customizability. The Getting Things Done principles provide a robust foundation for a long-term productivity solution that can tailor to your specific needs. To build a system that captures the essence of GTD and remains flexible for updates and improvements, I chose Notion. Creating a personalized system is like constructing a house. The GTD methodology serves as your blueprint, providing a detailed plan for achieving stress-free productivity. The Notion template serves as the framework, providing a structured environment to bring that blueprint to life. This three-part series will guide you step-by-step step in adopting the Getting Things Done method using the free Notion system. In this first video, we had just covered the basics of GTD. We will then take a tour of the Notion template and lay a strong foundation by tackling the first step of the workflow, Capture. In the second video, we will build the structure of a productivity house by diving into the clarification and organization steps. Finally, in the last part of the series, we'll complete our house with a keystone of reflection and move in through engagement. Now. Without further ado, let's dive into the Notion system and start our journey towards stress-free productivity. Whenever my computer is on, my Notion system homepage is always open. This homepage is like a giant umbrella that covers all the information and databases I need to keep my life organized. It is structured around the five-step GTD workflow but you might notice that there are only four steps listed here. That's because I've combined steps two and three, clarify and organize into one. So in my experience, they naturally go hand in hand. On the leftmost column, you'll find steps one through three with linked pages and buttons. The middle column, which takes up most of the space, focuses on engaging. And on the right-hand side, there's a quick access to all necessary pages and databases. You might wonder, what do you mean by it encapsulates your whole life? It doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on here. The extensive information is hidden behind this hub through basic Notion functions like buttons, databases, relations, pages, and more. You will get a better view of what's hidden underneath and all these Notion functions as we walk through this template in this series. Before we dive into the first step of GTD using Notion, follow the instruction in the description box to get access to Notion and get your free copy of the Getting Things Done template. And while you're setting up, grant access to Notion Calendar as well. I've found three major advantages of using Notion Calendar over other tools. First, it minimizes the number of tools you use and simplifies the process. Simplicity means practicality. 
which means you are more likely to use the system and succeed with it. You can easily open Notion Calendar from your GTD homepage or vice versa. Second, you can sync your Notion Calendar with other systems, allowing you to make changes from one source. And lastly, I find it easier to adjust your time blocks or events in Notion Calendar compared to other tools. Now that we have our blueprint and framework, let the construction begin. Each step of the getting things done workflow is like an element in house construction. To start, we need a strong foundation, and that is to capture. Our brains are great for creativity, but not for storing information. One core philosophy of GTD is to create a second brain, where all your ideas, projects, reminders, tasks, and commitments are stored. Capture is the process of downloading everything from our mind into this external memory, our notion system, so you don't have to worry about forgetting anything important. And everything in Notion is auto-saved as long as you're connected to the internet, so you can access your information from anywhere without worrying about saving. There are three phases of capture. We will start with setting up our system by capturing all loose ends in one setting. Once the system is running, capture should be done daily and weekly. We will dive into daily capture in a moment, and we will cover weekly capture in the next video as part of step 3, Reflect. On the home page, capture is listed as step 1 in the top left corner. Here you will find a button that places your entry into the inbox where step 2, Clarify and Organize takes place. Click on the capture button, and you will see a page designed for entering a sentence or two to summarize your thoughts. Now, Take a moment and think about all the loose ends in your personal and professional life. Did a multitude of ideas, projects, and tasks just pop into your mind? It's overwhelming how much we try to store in our brains, and it's easy to miss important things when we rely on memory alone. The GTD book provides a comprehensive trigger list to help recall the smallest details you need to capture in life. To set up the system for the first time, we will use this list. So move to the reflection section under weekly review and click on the trigger list page. You will find two columns, personal and professional. Click on each subcategory and ask yourself if there's anything related to these words that you need to write down. If so, use the capture button on the top of the page to secure your thoughts. For example, the first line here asks for project started, not completed. I started a personal finance tracker in Notion and it's still in progress. So I should write down this ongoing project by summarizing it briefly. Capture the essence but keep it concise. So in this case, I have an ongoing project, which is the Notion finance tracker. And some quick notes for myself. I need to set a timeline and project principles. That's one item done. Click away and continue with the list and repeat this process. If the GTD Notion system is a house, each captured item is a building block. These blocks stack up to form the essential foundation of the system, and the other steps can only be performed on top of the solid base. It's critical that this foundation is comprehensive and captures 100% of all aspects of your life. Personally, I've benefited greatly from storing both my personal and professional commitments in the same system. You might worry that mixing the two might blur the line between work and life, but both of them happen in the same 24-hour day. Not distinguishing them allows me to accurately gauge my time and ensures a high completion rate of my planned actions and tasks. Set aside an hour or two to go through the trigger list and download everything from your mind. Otherwise, you won't trust your system and will still keep things in your mind. If the foundation is not robust, the house will fall apart. The purpose of capture is to free our brains from memorizing everything, allowing them to focus on generating ideas and being creative. You can use the trigger list to batch capture during your weekly review, but in my experience, it's the most effective to write down ideas right as they form on a daily basis.
To simplify the capture process and make it as effortless as possible, the Notion template only requires one click before you can start jotting down what's on your mind. If you followed the instruction in the description box, you might have noticed that Notion is available on the web, desktop, and mobile platforms. For convenience and accessibility, I recommend downloading Notion desktop and mobile apps and set up shortcuts on your phone. I have Notion set to open a computer startup and I keep this homepage on at all times. When an idea pops up, I click on Notion and jot it down immediately. Download Notion on your phone and set up a shortcut to the inbox page. When inspiration strikes on the go, click on the inbox shortcut, then click on add new and start typing your thoughts. When you capture an item, it's automatically saved in the inbox, setting the stage for the next steps. Get started and download the Notion GTD template. By capturing all loose ends in your life, you will lay a strong foundation for stress-free productivity. In our next video, we will dive deeper into the GTD process and start structuring our productivity house. We will focus on clarifying and organizing what you've captured transforming chaos into order. See you there.